into the great wide open. This is Uxbridge Common and we've never been here before, although we've passed it on the bus many times. It's a vast open space and it also has a very interesting feature of an old water tower. Now I'm not sure how close we're going to be able to get to it, but it's something that I've always wanted to explore. So let's take a look around. So what do you like about parks, Paul? I think I like the open air part of it. And on a really nice sunny day, I think that that makes all the difference. And I think I also like the wild birds. Do you get parks like this in the US? Uh, I think it's more built up and there isn't as much open ground. Not in the city, I suppose, but if you went out into sort of more Suburbia? rural areas, yeah. What about upstate New York? I think that it would be open, but I didn't grow up with this, so I am taking it all in. These sort of parks, like Commons, this is an, a, this is Uxbridge Common, so it's, you know, you've got Wimbledon Common, where you've got the Wombles, and I don't know what creatures lurk around Uxbridge Common, but I think the Com same type? <laughs> well, perhaps, but I think commons are unique to Britain. And, and, well, actually, yeah, yeah unique I think to so. England, I would say. Definitely. feel the breeze. Now you may have seen our episode when we walked from Richmond Park to Wimbledon Common and I'm telling you even on the warmest day in the middle of Richmond Park the breeze would sweep you off your feet I uh -huh. think. There's just something about it's so fast. I think that's the thing. Um, but this is nice. This is a nice sized piece of land and you know there's a little bit of a breeze but it's not too bad. So behind me is the water tower. Now, I always thought it was in the park itself because when you go past on the bus, it looks as though it is. But in actual fact, it's not. However, I think we might be able to get a little bit closer to it by walking up water tower close. Look, Paul's already on his way. It's feeling really hot right now. It feels like a bit like a sauna. Oh. And the smell as well. You can smell where the sun has been burning onto the grass. And it's that really distinct sort of summer scent that you get. It's lovely. I think there was a river that ran down here a while ago, but now it's all dried up. Huh. Interesting. Here are some really interesting berries growing out. Not sure what they are. I don't think that they're edible. Look, water tower close. water tower. Now it's got an aerial on the top. I think it's got satellite dishes as well and there are cars part. So I believe that this is probably a private residence now but at least we get to have a look at it a bit closer. Well, 
we're going to go back into the park and look, this looks interesting. I love little nooks and crannies like this. Just have to watch my step. Let there be light. And we're back in to Uxbridge Common. I'm wearing my cap now, look. I don't want to get burnt. <laughs> we really couldn't have picked a better day to come exploring this magnificent park. And it's so quiet in here as well, even though you've got like a main road not too far behind. But I've just heard in the distance an aeroplane flying. Um, like one of those small planes that goes to like a, one of the, the local airports. It might even be sort of like a little type of a glider type plane. But yeah, it's just great to be out here like this. Mm. Breathe it all in. <sighs> oh, I can hear the birdies tweeting as well. I think the deeper that you get into the park, the more you get to hear them. Ooh, what's this? There seems to be a plaque underneath this tree. Let's see what it says. In memory of Sir Michael Sheresby, MP for Uxbridge, 1972 to 1997. day walking through the park. Yes, indeed it has. And the thing is, if you go to the park, you also have to go to the pub. What do you say about that? I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> Confidence is a preference for the habitual voyeur of what is known as park life, and morning soup can be avoided if you take a route straight through what is known as park life. I feed the pigeons, I sometimes feed the sparrows too. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being, park life. And then I'm happy for the rest of the day, safe in the knowledge there will always be a bit of my heart devoted to it. Thanks for watching our show. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.
Starkle, Starkle, little twink. Who the hell are you, I think? I'm not under what you call the alcoholics of alcohol. I'm just a little slurt of sheep. I'm not drunk like single peep. I don't know who is me yet. But the drunker I stand here, the longer I get. So just give me one more fink to drill my cup. Cause I got all day sober to Sunday up. I'm looking into my crystal ball and I see great things for our show. So please do like, comment and subscribe. Well, we've left the park behind us now and we're walking in towards Uxbridge. Again, this is a road that we have driven along before but never walked down. And we are assured that there is a pub down here. So that's our next port of call. Oh, look, if you're walking along this road, you can catch the U2. It's a bit of rattle and hum. Ah, the pub a whiz. Oh my goodness, I hope it's open. The gardener's arms where the windows are open. The umbrellas are out, the sun is out, so why not? Oh wow! Cheers! Cheers! I think this is just what you need after a walk in the park or even in the uh, common, don't you think? Uh, yeah, definitely. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Delicious. it really is thirsty work. <laughs> so anyway, we hope that you have enjoyed today's show and we will see you next time. Bye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers.